Hey, 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 it's your girl Yolanda over here at Forever Londa, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we do all things planning, lifestyle, DIY, home decor, and sometimes, girl, we get in the kitchen and do a little cooking. So today we're going to be doing a video meal planning with some cooking towards the end. If this sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's go get to planning. Here I am with my LV Desk Agenda. Um, I purchased it uh, about a year ago and I'm very, very happy with it. And one of the things that I've been trying to do is to do some meal planning in it. So what we're going to go ahead and do today is to um, plan out our meals for the week. So I'm using these inserts that I have in my shop at www.teamunbook.com. You can definitely uh, check them out there. And so I'm going to add a little decor to the pages before I begin meal planning. So before we get started, I'm only using a, a couple of things I'm not using a lot. I have these three different washi that I'm using. I'm going with like a green and gray silver um, decor. I'm also using my encouragement sticker book. I'm also using my uh, this sticker book, Household. Um, I think this book is really, really handy when it comes to meal planning, um, bills, maintenance, and those types of things. I'm also using these stickers. It's a pack of stickers that I got off of Amazon, and so they come in handy. So yes. Let's go ahead and get to planning. Okay, so now we're all done. Okay, so now we're all done and we're gonna go ahead and get to meal planning. So I do know this Saturday um, that's here, I'm going to um, want to do some pecan waffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I was able to score some Bisquick a couple of weeks ago on sale, so I wanna try to do those pecan waffles. And I pretty much know I usually have a berry smoothie most days for a snack. Um, I add collagen to my smoothie to help with my, my skin. And then, so I'm going to do that. Anybody else, when they get on camera or they start to do things, can't spell, can't talk, or is it just me? <laughs> so, if you've watched any of my meal planning videos before, I started meal planning because one, I'm, I'm super, super busy, and it really, really helps me um, with getting things together, and um, I like um, when you see these leftovers here, what I do is I, when I cook the day before, I then um, try to cook enough for everyone in my family to have lunch the next day. So I invested in these little small meal prep containers and whatever we have for dinner, I, I double the portions and then I 
put them in individual little containers so those that are going off to work they can grab it put it in their lunch bag and take it to work or those of us who are working from home or doing school from home we have our lunch already ready for us so um, on this day I, I want to do short ribs and I'll do um, brown rice and cream corn and that way on the following Monday I'll have um, some good leftovers and stuff so um, Tuesday I'm usually very very busy I go live on Facebook and Instagram so I don't always have a lot of time to cook so Tuesday is like our one day to splurge and do takeout um, so I need to think about some quick breakfasts and things that um, I'm doing and I what I want to do is to start doing my breakfast very similar to lunch that way I don't spend so much time in the kitchen in the morning and it allows me to really kind of just get myself together before I start my day so I think I want to do things like um, I'll do like the ham and cheese quiche here and with the quiche these are things that I can make ahead of time um, and just put in the oven if you want to see the cute little dishes that I got for the quiche check out my home goods haul video I'm going to link it here and it'll also be in the description box below um, I'll also um, do probably a veggie scramble I love these this is quick and easy my vegetables are already cut up and I just have to um, scramble them and then put it on um, some toast. And I usually do like a, a open face um, sandwich when I'm doing my veggie scramble. I think <clears throat> I'll probably most likely do some avocado toast here with a fried egg. And then on Thursday for breakfast, I'll um, take out another quiche and do that one. And these are things, the quiche are things that you can do in advance. And um, I'll be sure to do a video on how I do those things in advance. And you can also do like the egg cups and they, they freeze very well. You put them in your little muffin tins and then you, I like to wrap them individually in saran wrap and then put them in a gallon Ziploc bag with the dates and then you just take them out and microwave them. So it makes really good hearty breakfast without a whole lot of um, time and effort put in that morning. So on this Friday, I think what I'll do is um, another um, avocado toast and I'm probably spelling this wrong and um, this time with the fried egg and on Sunday I choose typically for breakfast we'll do just a smoothie because we have a pretty heavy um, dinner so that's taking care of um, my leftovers from Sunday dinner. And then I'm just going to do some grilled chicken here, grilled chicken, and uh, with veggie and pasta. And then um, this day I think I'll do some shrimp um, and I'll do with some zoodles and sun-dried tomatoes and then um, for this day um, I'll probably go ahead and do um, barbecue chicken and I'll do with this some um, scalloped potatoes I know I spelled that wrong <laughs> and 
I'll throw in some sort of veggie there. And then Friday, um, since we'll probably be doing some sort of family game night or movie night, we do to try we do try as a family to get together and do things. So I'll do like a bunch of finger food. So I'll do like a homemade pizza um, and some some wings and maybe some meatballs. So we'll veg out on a bunch of finger foods. And then Saturday, um, I tend to eat a little lighter on Saturday because we do have, um, usually have a heavy lunch or we go somewhere and, and do something. So for lunch this day, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and actually do like a tuna pasta salad. This is like my go-to. It's super easy to do. Um, the kids love it, the hubby love it. So I, I like doing it. Um, this day we'll do sandwiches. Uh, I'll do grilled chicken sandwiches with french fries. And then um, Friday lunch, I'll do a, um, more sandwiches this time. Um, maybe I'll do like, I'll do salmon burgers. Those are always good. You can find salmon burgers at your local Publix if you have one. Um, if not, try Trader Joe's. And then Saturday, um, we'll go ahead and, and do, maybe we'll do something on the grill. So also barbecue baked beans potato salad you know now that um, it's warmer it's a great time to spend in your yard and spend outside and then usually on Sunday we don't do a lot of um, heavier foods on Sunday usually our lunch because we do attend service so I'm just going to draw like a little arrow because we usually have um the kids call it dinner <laughs> a late lunch early dinner so so that's the meal planning so i'm going to go ahead and do my grocery list and populate it with things that i don't already have in my pantry or i need to pick back up and then we'll talk a little bit more to go to the grocery store so um, we're really good so practice this week is going to be my water intake so I'm going to really try to push drinking a lot of water this week so for every day that I achieve my goal I'm going I'm going I'll put it like a little check mark next to this if I achieve the goal for the day I'll go ahead and mark it off so okay all right guys so now that we're done with our meal planning, thank you for joining this part of the planning. So let's get cooking. Hey, 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 it's Yolanda from Forever Yolanda. And it's Saturday. And um, it's a late start, but I'm going to make breakfast this morning. I'm going to do But when I do eat bacon, I want real bacon, so I'm just gonna get this ready to put in the oven. This is the Alpha Wood Smoke um, Bacon by Smithville. I got it at Publix um, a, couple, a couple weeks ago. It was on um, sale, so I picked up two packs. One in the freezer for later, and I kept one out. Um, I think this is what I, I think I'm going to do. Seven. That should be good. Maybe 
y'all do it eight. There are three of us that eat pork. So um, we can kind of split this up. I haven't had a chance to do a whole lot of cooking lately, only because I've been super busy with work. And so, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do a both. enjoy our time in the kitchen thank you for joining our channel this is yolanda over here forever yolanda i say that if you like this type of content don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell that way you know when we upload videos also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up this is your girl Yolanda over here forever Yolanda and thank you for joining me on the other side. Bye bye now. See you later.